Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to sort a list in SharePoint. We're here on our HR team site. We're in our employee list. And when we take a look at this list, let's, let's look at, say, the last name column. We see that it's not sorted, certainly not by last name or by first names or by ID number, date of hire, department, location, not even hourly rate. It's not sorted at all. It's most likely just sorted by the order things were added. So we want to go ahead and we want to sort this list. We would like to sort it, let's say, by the last name alphabetically from A to Z, ascending. So we come up here to the last name header, to our header row here, and we see that there is a little arrow pointing down that indicates to us that there's something going on underneath, if you will. We're going to click on that, and we get this little pop-up window. Now, we see that we have two options, sorting A to Z or Z to A, ascending or descending. We're going to choose to sort this list, and it's going to sort the whole list A to Z alphabetically. So we're going to click there, and look at now our entire list is sorted alphabetically by last name. And I could go all the way down and it would be sorted by the last name all the way to the end. Now, when we take a, another look over here, we now see that there's this little arrow and it's pointing upwards. This arrow indicates to us that this list has been sorted by this criteria, by the last name. And because the arrow is pointing up, we know that it has been sorted ascending or alphabetically in this case, a to Z. Now, let's go ahead and let's go over here to the date of hire column. Let's say that we want to sort this list by the date of hire instead. Let's go ahead and let's click there, and we see older to newer, newer to older. We're going to select newer to older, and now it is sorted from the most recent employee, which happens to be me, all the way down to our longest standing employee, and we got to go all the way down to the bottom for that. And we see that it is Harry, who's been with the company since 1999. So when we come back up to the top, we see again that the arrow is there. Only this time, it's pointing down. Again, letting us know that it has been sorted descending. Now, notice that the arrow is off of the last name column, and we're not sorted by the last name anymore. You can only sort this list by one criteria at a time at this simple level. All right, now, the thing about these sorts is they don't stay in place unless you save it. And that's another lesson for another day. If I go ahead and I leave my list, I'm going to go to my home page, and then I'm going to go back to my list. So I'll come back here to the employee list you'll see that my sorts are gone. The list is once again sorted the way it was initially when we first came to the site. Again, those sorts don't stay unless you save that view, and we'll talk about that in another lesson. So now you know how to sort a SharePoint list. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.